David and David here. Let's talk about what to do when your iPhone won't charge with a wireless charger. Just a quick background on Qi, Q-I, Qi charging. Qi was developed by an international power consortium, aka a group of nerds. Well, it should be obvious to even the most dimwit individual. Who got together and developed this open standard for wireless charging. If you have a wireless charger, 99% of the time it's a Qi charger. This is a $10 Amazon Qi charger. Qi chargers like this one, though, are pretty finicky. Although the international consortium says that they should be able to charge over four centimeters, at least that's the distance. Theoretical, anyway. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, and sometimes, too, one of the reasons why your iPhone might not be wirelessly charging is because you have a thick iPhone case, which can kind of interrupt with that connection when you place it on the pad. Right. So if you have a really thick case, right. take it off. Also, make sure it's plugged in, right? Yeah, that's one of the... Uh, we're experts here, people. Yeah, that's important. Plug it in. Boom. Plugged in. iPhone. There it is. Wirelessly charging. charging. But with a charger like this, I mean, you go here... And it's it not stops, working. Yeah. Forget it. I so, used to wake up all the time. No no charge. Step two, make sure it's right in the center of the charging pad. If it's off center, mm -hmm. it might not charge. Right. So a lot of people are probably finding out now that they need to get a case. We can drop a link in the description mm -hmm. section below and a card up above to Amazon where you can buy a Qi compatible case. There's a lot of good ones out there, especially the Apple cases. They're excellent. They yeah. feel good, too. Another thing to do is just wipe off your iPhone, wipe off the charging pad, you know, four yep. centimeters. But even if there's like a thin layer of dust or Crap. debris, yep. uh, just wiping that off can make a difference. <laughs> uh, especially if it's been on your nightstand like this one was forever. Yeah. Wipe off your iPhone. Wipe it off. Ugh. Pretty simple. Also, try a different cable. So in this case, it's a Qi charger. It's not even using a lightning cable. It's a micro USB cable. This is an Asus charger. What's great about Qi is that there's really no Apple lightning mm -hmm. made for iPhone certification for the whole thing. It just works. So I like that. At least Apple got on board with a universal technology. Yep. Try different uh, outlets in the wall. To, you know, yeah. Uh, you got your power strip. <laughs> move move to a charger. different house. Move yeah, different house. it's good. So... I want to talk about the MagSafe charger, which is also a Qi charger, but a finicky one. So according to Apple, a MagSafe charger requires, I believe it's 12 watts at least in terms of a charger, and it has to be basically an Apple USB charger. So you buy this thing, it comes in the box, and you think, okay, I got a great charger, but then you also need a USB-C power adapter for it. This is an iPhone 12 Pro, so it has the MagSafe port in the back, it charges perfectly. This will also charge older iPhones, but the kicker is that it will charge them slower than other Qi chargers. So it's really not the best idea in the world to sure use is. a MagSafe charger on an older iPhone. And, uh, but at least it's not super magnetic and doesn't take yeah, the whole thing with good. it. So what I did is I thought to myself, when I got this cable, I didn't have an extra USB-C power brick lying around. So I thought, I'm going to get cute with this thing. I'm just going to use my old one. I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to buy a USB-C to USB-A, a.k.a. old school USB adapter, plug it in, and then use my old charger, which had more than enough juice. So I plug it in. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing doing. I don't know why you can't do it. You just can't. Yeah, I so use check, Apple your, stuff. You know, check your adapter setup, too, while you're at it. Um... Maybe your iPhone is just not responsive at all. It's black screen. That used to happen a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Black screen and you place on the charger, it's not charging. Hard reset. Hard reset. So I have an iPhone 10. If you have an iPhone 8 or newer. It's actually an iPhone 11 Pro, but who's counting? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. Whatever. Uh, volume up, volume down. Press and hold that side button until the Apple logo appears on the screen. If you have an iPhone 7, it is the volume down button and the side button. Oh, I just let go. That's fine. And yep. if you have a iPhone 6S or older or an iPhone SE, home button, power button, same time, Apple logo appears on the screen. Yep. As soon as the Apple logo buttons. appears, you can let go. That was awesome. That was like a lot of instructions yeah. in a short amount of time. We've done this before. Of course. He's I should say that the iPhone 6S doesn't have wireless charging anyway, so that was right. Why are you even talking about this? Information. That's all right. We're just used to it. We basically wind us up yeah. and let us go. A lot of the time, this problem is caused by a really cheap Qi charger cheap. that broke. We'll link to a better one in the description. Yeah, description of, yeah. Below. Or you might just need a new power adapter to actually make it happen. Right, or a more powerful power adapter. Yeah. So yeah, this one came with a light that was so bright I put black tape over it and then just like scribbled in with a sharpie because it was waking me up at night it was so freaking bright it was not the best design in the world I have a personal plea okay 
Only 7%, which is up from 4, of the people who watch our videos subscribe to this channel. Now, please, if you love life, please subscribe to our channel. Yeah, let's get that number up to 9%. We're going for 9%. Next month. Yep. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, as you just said. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below with any other questions. Ugh.